All right, let's go. Here we are. What? How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. We're, We're just it. calling. We are fresh back from <laughs> uh, our big real estate convention, but we are, there was a new a remodeling survey that came out that they, of course, there's an association that tracks things like this. And we just thought it was really interesting that we'd share some of the highlights of this remodeling study that they surveyed and asked homeowners and realtors alike what they thought the top remodeling items are as far as what to do and what your return is if you do them and you're thinking about selling your home. That's right. So the remodeling survey says... That in Americans spent $420 billion with a B on remodeling in 2020. Yes, if you've been to Home Depot, Lowe's, any of the big box stores, they're very busy in there. Uh huh. And have been since they were they were deemed essential. I guess that's why. Yep. So when consumers remodel, it's to upgrade worn out surfaces, finishes, and materials. Thirty percent, twenty percent want to improve their livability, and sixteen percent, it's just time for a change. And if you see something the home that maybe, you know. 50 years old, it's time for its update. Yes, yes. Sometimes <laughs> it's just time for a change. A lot yes. of times people would change, they just sell their house and buy another house. Not easy to do, but uh, can be done. So Contingent offer. After remodeling. We have solutions for that. 84% of the owners have a greater desire to be in their home. We have a client mm -hmm. right now who's lived in a home for 22 years, and they remodeled the kitchen to get it ready to sell. And now they're not in such a big hurry to sell it because they've lived with a really old kitchen for a long time. And now they're loving their new kitchen. Yes, happens almost every time. Mm -hmm. They also, uh, in this survey, had a joy score. Like what of the remodeling things that you did brought you joy? So I'll run over some of those things that had a 10 joy score. So what do you think is the number one thing that is the Best thing for cost recovery on doing a remodel of your home. I was surprised by this. Were you surprised too? Yeah, I was surprised. I was surprised. The number one thing, drum roll please, is the refinishing your hardwood floors is number one. Which I thought, because not all the newer homes even have hardwood floors to refinish. But that was number one. Number two, new hardwood flooring. Number three was insulation upgrade. Uh, number four, basement conversion, of course, this is a national survey. We don't have basements here in Ventura. Um, closet renovation and complete kitchen remodel and complete bathroom remodel. Because, of course, what helps sell your home? Newer bathrooms, newer kitchens. That's kitchens what everybody likes. Yes, kitchens and bath, as always. Yep. And after that, it's adding a bathroom. So those are the top cost recovery things, the things that you do and you get most of your money back when you do them. The next um, item here on my list is the joy score. So things that brought a joy score of 10, things that make you very happy when you do them. A joy score. Now, that's not interpretive, is it? Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> well, guess what number one is on that? Number one thing we always do, the cheapest thing to do to your house to upgrade it completely, the cheapest thing, what is that? I don't know, new pillows? <laughs> <laughs> Paint! Oh, to paint the entire interior of the house. We have several go uh, going right now that our sellers are painting the interior and fixing up the homes because, you know, the nicer homes, things that are ready to go always sell more quickly and for top dollar. Every time. Every time. Yes. No number two is paint one interior room. So sometimes, you know, your daughter or your son wanted a really fun color in their bedroom. Time to paint that before you uh, put it on the market. Because usually those bright colors, they don't look so hot in the photos. Um, number three, and this is since, you know, the shutdown, is add a new home office. Uh, number four, hardwood flooring and the new flooring closet renovation. So those are the things that brought you the 10 joy score once you do them. Yes, well, we're all looking for a 10 joy. <laughs> I'm not yes. sure hardwood flooring would do that for me. <laughs> And then um, on the exterior, of course, the number one thing, the roof, roofing, number one. Number two, garage door. Because if you change the roof 
and you put a new garage door, shoot, it looks like a new house. It is a new house. I mean, totally looks different. Um, then vinyl siding, vinyl windows, um, wood windows, steel front door. So those are the exterior things that bring the highest cost recovery when you do them. So, and the joy score and the cost recovery are not really hand in glove because nobody really gets a 10 joy out of a new roof, I don't think. Yeah, well, no, ex they, you would, though, if it was raining. Oh, yeah, You'd be your, very happy you had a new roof if it was raining. And your old roof leaked. <laughs> well, that, wouldn't that be why you're getting a new one? <laughs> well, it's, it's, there could be other reasons. Maybe you want to change the color. Maybe. You know, there's always a reason. Yes. But if you're getting out the pots and pans to grab the drip from the rain through your leaky roof, New roof might give you a 10 joy score. <laughs> joy score. Mm -hmm. Yes. So if you're thinking about selling your home, we have uh, people that can help you fix up your home. And we're happy to walk through and, and tell you what will give you your largest cost recovery because uh, we don't want you to spend money you don't need to to get top dollar in this market. We have the solutions for every one of these. Yes, we do. We have people. <laughs> we know people. Yes, there are people. Yes, we do. And then I want to talk a little bit about um, the, the housing and the, because if you see the headlines, boy, it's crazy out there from one headline to another. So yeah. the real numbers say. Well, housing has crashed, right? Yeah. <laughs> not at all. Not here. <laughs> not um, anywhere. The, the appreciation forecast at the beginning of the year, the average, I could run through them all, but it was about, um, you know, four to five percent. They were, they were uh, anticipating the price appreciation for this year. Well, now we're into double digits. The average, these, about 10%. So they have almost doubled their price appreciation forecasts for the rest of this year. Yeah, so the revisions are from 3 and 4% for this year now to double digit returns for this year. Right. And if I read like Fannie Mae, for example, they said 7.6 appreciation for this year. They've increased it to 16%. So almost every single one of these, Fannie, Freddie, Nar, Zellman, They've all more than doubled their price appreciation uh, uh, forecast for th this year. Appreciation is slowing, but not crashing. I mean, that's you see all these things about crashing home prices. I mean, our prices yeah. here, their well, appreciation slowing, but not depreciating. So right. it's just not going up as fast. It's not going down. Right. But I mean, it's twenty percent, twenty point two, eighteen point three percent in June appreciation percentage year-over-year -year home prices. Homeowners have equity. Yes, they and do. growing. They do. Um, we talked about the home price forecast. Yeah, we did. Yes, we did. And the solution for that is you got to get with us. Yep. Right? The uh, his inventory <laughs> is still historically low, so it is still um, down like 40% on inventory. It is growing a little bit, but not hugely. There are less... You know, just like 15 offers on a property, there might be two or three, but it's not a total frenzy like it has been. That is correct. Yes. And then Ventura, these are just some quick prices. The medium price um, in Ventura is up 9.7%, 876000 Oxnard up 8%, 746000 Camrio up 9%, 858000 and Ojai up 16%, 1.165,000 is the median. Yes, in Ojai. Mm -hmm. It and is. And the days on market is shrinking. This one's it's interesting. Shrinking. Showings per listing in Ventura, 1.2 showings per listing. Well, wait a minute. The days on market are <laughs> shrinking? Median days on market has been going down. Well, we did. I think that they're going up. They're, more, they're longer days on market. You're telling me they're less days on market than Well, was... compared to historically. Oh, yes. yes. Okay. Historically. That's yeah, it depends on where you, where you draw your line in the sand. That's right. That's what statistics do, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because you threw me off on that one. So, anyway, that's kind of the highlight, broad brush strokes. But I just wanted to come, come, come on because I had never seen a remodeling, like, survey index done that had a joy score and all this information so i just thought it was cool and thought i would pass it along the whole um present uh, presentation of this was like 68 pages they broke it all down oh good uh-huh so if you want more information on remodeling statistics i've got them yes you want a solution to your problem we've got those yes GaryandLisa.com. So your real estate edge thanks guys